Hello everybody and welcome to Prison Architect. Now I've been meaning to play this game for quite some time now, but I never really got around to it. Uh, Paradox recently, uh, there we go, Paradox Interactive right there, perfect timing. Recently picked up the game and Paradox is a company I play a lot of games for, so I thought yes, they updated, they bought the game, they updated it recently, so this will be the perfect time to settle on in. Uh, you can see that I've played just a little bit off screen to get used to some things, but that was honestly a number of years ago. So I'm just going to pop into the campaign here. Is this like a tutorial? Yes. I, so yeah, we're going to start the, we're just going to do the campaign. The only thing that bumps me out is I don't think there's a way to name prisoners after people from my community because I thought that would be I just thought that would be delightful if we'd be able if we were able to do that but I don't think that's possible. Where is it, Architect? Alright, we got an incoming call from the CEO. This is a tough one. There's a prisoner incarcerated at this facility who's been convicted of a double murder and the sentence is death. That's where we come in. We've been, we've been contracted to construct an execution chamber in time for this guy's big day. This is where I want the new facility to be built. First step with any project like this is to construct the building itself with enough space inside to fit an execution room and a holding cell. So let's get started. Construct a new building here. We also need an entrance to the new execution facility. Build a large jail door into the south wall. All right. So I've played a lot of RimWorld in my time, and I know this is similar. So uh, there some things will be, uh, you know, relatively fresh to me and some things will be old hands so uh let's see foundation not sure what the difference between brick and concrete is but i'll just use the top one brick i'll lay that down oh hello friendo your workmen are responding to the construction of buildings they collect the steel and concrete from this room and take it to the construction site They'll use those raw materials to build the foundation and framework of your new building. This is the slowest part of construction, so you should plan ahead when building new facilities. While we wait, take a look around, use WSD or the arrow keys. So we've got a canteen. It's like a power station. Um, admin. Delightful looking kitchen. There's all of our cells. I might change the graphical settings a little bit after this recording, because I'm, uh... Seems a little choppy to me, but... See how it comes out on the recording. Require... Oh, we need a door. So, large jail door. Oh! How do I cancel that? I misclicked. Can I, uh... I mean, will it matter if it's in the slightly wrong area? It doesn't look like it. Yeah, it works the fine. It works fine all the same. Inside the building, I want a cell and an execution room. Partition the space by constructing some brick walls. Okay, so let's grab a couple brick walls. Whoop. Whoop, whoop. There and there. Uh, I'm used to right-click clearing this, but it doesn't look like that's how that works. Oh, escape. So, double-click follows a workman. Can we, we can speed up, yeah. I don't think we need to follow him individually. We'll just let them 
finish their little walls here. So we're going to have a temporary cell, if I remember correctly, and an execution room and, like, an entryway. Oh, God, it doesn't line up right. <laughs> now add large double doors. You can rotate an object before placement by clicking the middle mouse button. Okay, so... Here we are. Yeah, that bugs me. Uh, lock, shut, lock, open, open door, dump, dismantle, follow. So I think I could probably dismantle it, but it doesn't seem to be a big deal, so we're okay. We're looking good. Uh, we now need to designate rooms within these spaces. Designate a cell in the smaller area where our condemned inmate will live. Then designate the execution room itself in the larger area. Can do. Uh, so rooms, we need a cell right here. And an execution room. Bam, right there. Is that it? Yep. Those new rooms have requirements before they can become functional. The cell needs a bed and a turlet. The execution room requires an electric chair. All right, so we need a toilet right here. And a bed. That looks fine. And an electric chair. Boom. Oh, we got I was like, yes, no, what's going on? It's time to uh, time to get these guys working. That's what we're waiting on. I see you guys lounging around. Oh, you know, other people were working on it. That's why. Perfect. That's the essentials taken care of, but there are still a few improvements you could make. It's up to you, though. These aren't strictly required, but depends on how much you care about your prisoners and their environment. The cell itself could be improved with an outward-facing window and a small bookshelf. And the facility would look better with a higher quality floor material like wooden floorboards or mosaic tiles. Outside, you could add some lighting and a paved pathway if you think it needs it. Oh, this is our execution -y. This is the man in question, Edward Romsey. A teacher once, would you believe? It's not our place to decide if he deserves this. The law has made that decision. We're just here to do a job. Once you are satisfied the facility is ready, you can begin the prisoner transfer to his new cell. Simply click on the Polaroid in the cell to initiate the transfer. All right, so we're going to make this a little bit nicer. So I like wooden floors. So yeah, we'll just wooden up the whole thing. And we'll add some paving stones out here. I was thinking about connecting it right up to there. Let's see, and some lights. Let's do two on the outside, one on the corner. And we'll give him a window. Overlooking his bed there, and a bookshelf in the corner. All right, let's do this, guys. That looks good. That bugs me. Did we even we either miss that spot or I don't know. Um, let's take a look. Yeah, I think I think that's what we needed to do there. I think we just missed that. Did that guy just get stuck in a window? I think that guy got st stuck in a window for a second there. Can you see that? Thank you. Much better looking. Okay. There we go. Don't shed one tear for this guy. He's a stone cold killer. Guilty as charged. He even confessed. Want to hear his description of what ha what he did? What he did happened? What happened he did? It's juicy stuff. It was just right at 11 p.m. Lights were already on. I knew she was home.
Oh my. Oh my. I knew I'd get you two here. Edward, I... Don't. Just don't. I, I'm not even remember the, the voices I'm doing. What are you going to do? Click. Bang. Bang. Very strategically placed forearm right there. Where's Dave, if you ask me, deserves every vote he's gonna get. All men deserve forgiveness, even him. You are so sure in yourself that you can deal out such final judgment? Catching a wife with another man is no excuse for what he did. And he went there with a loaded gun, knowing he'd find them together. That's double premeditated murder. He's doing nothing but cooperate with the authorities. The state is making an example of him. If he'd committed his crime 100 miles north, he'd be looking at imprisonment instead. How is that justice? You even want a guy like him running free? I sleep just fine at night when I know he's gone. I don't know where I'm pulling these voices from, sorry. Good work so far. The CEO's just me. However, there is one problem. The execution room isn't functioning yet because it doesn't have any power. We need to connect it to the electrical supply. We are now viewing the prison in utilities mode, which shows us the electrical wiring layout for the entire prison. Each building in the prison is connected to the power grid by these thick underground electrical cables. Power is provided to the prison by this substation, which draws electricity from the national grid. As you can see, this entire wing of the prison is without power. All the lights are out. To fix this problem, we need to switch into utilities mode to understand why the lights are without power. The nearest electrical cables are too far away. Our engineers can't complete the wiring for this area. Extend the electrical cables nearby to cover this wing of the prison. Okay. Seems simple enough. So we'll grab some, uh, some cable here. Just, uh... Run it to there. Run it straight down there. Let's see what happens. Will, we do, uh, will they work at night? Yes, they will. Good to know. Oh, flashlights are cute. Yep. I just saw some power um, start fluctuating a little. I thought I saw some lights turn on and off. Possibly. I could be wrong. Oh, there it is for certain. Lights aren't the only thing that needs power. Your new electrical chair does too. Use the power cables to connect the execution facility to the power grid. Does it need to be directly plugged in? Electrical chair itself is a special type of electrical item. It requires its own dedicated power line. This does. Then you connect it directly to the main cable. Okay. Oh, we got like a little light on our cursor. That's nifty. What, you done? Are you done? What are you guys, hourly? We're almost done, I think. We should test the new uh, execution room at least once before we try to use it. I'm going to turn it on for a few seconds, make sure everything is okay. Of course, it's not going to be okay. Blue a fuse. Well, that didn't work. 
Looks like we drew too much power in, tripped the circuit breaker, and the power station. The whole prison is dark. We're going to need more juice to be able to handle the power spike that the electric chair generates. First, we need to turn the power back on. This is a two-step process. Switch the power station back on by clicking on it and selecting switch on in the menu that appears. Then build three more capacitors so we have enough power capacity to handle the electric chair. Once you've done that, test the electric chair again by clicking on it and selecting switch on. Okay, so this one we just turn on. And then we need to build three more capacitors in the marked area. We need more juice for the uh, murderology. Oh, we have like unlimited money. It's the tutorial. What do you expect? One more. Ooh. Perfect. Alrighty. Yep, you can see that spiked over there. Well done. I believe we are finished with this job. What happens now is out of our hands. We did a professional job and that's important in our business. Try not to worry about what happens next. Get it, you. I think this guy had a nasally voice. Are you licking for forgiveness? I don't know. I have to do something. I can't live with the things I've done. You have to do yourself in. Whatever you've done, you cannot evade the consequences. You would never be able to live with yourself until you face up to your past. I want to go back. I want to forgive her. I want her to forgive me. Click. God will forgive you no matter what you have done. If you ask him to. But you must answer for your crimes in the eyes of law. There's no other way. It's time, Edward. You've done the right thing. Even though this world would not forgive you for it. You'll be with God soon. And he will have the final judgment on you. Oh god, I can't remember this guy's voice now. Edward Ramsey, you've been found guilty. Two counts of murder in the first degree. The penalty is death. Do you have anything to say? Susan. I'm sorry. I don't know if the microphone picked that up, but my dog was snoring behind me just now. 
If you heard a loud, like, oh, that was the dog snoring. Alright everyone, well thank you very much for watching. I know that was just the beginning tutorial mission, but it was fun to play through still. Uh, we're going to continue this and go through all of the campaign missions one at a time. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel if you are interested in more Prison Architect or other videos like it. And I will see all of you next time.